Life as a researcher can be really stressful. We're constantly being pushed to deliver state-of-the-art technology for a better society and push the boundaries of human knowledge as a research institute. With such a hectic schedule, I thought that I could save some time by not cutting the pumpkins myself this year, but rather automate the process. We already have the robotic infrastructure to develop this. I mean, how hard can it really be? So the plan is to take a pumpkin and have a 3D camera called Civic do a 3D scan of the pumpkin, which is going to create a V-spline surface on which we can carve any image that we want. We're going to use this giant robotic arm here uh, to do the carving. Now, this robot usually is meant for something completely different. Uh, it has this mount here, which has six lasers mounted on it, which all fires simultaneously to generate heat, uh, temperatures that rise in the face of the sun which means that it's hot enough to melt metal. Uh, this can then be used either to weld metals together or to melt it and deposit it to 3D print objects such as this. This was created during using this robot firing all the lasers. Now, for uh, this project we will replace the lasers with this spindle here and a carving bit. Uh, this is going to spin several thousand times per minute to carve out the image that we want. And for anyone wondering if it's a bad idea to uh, attach a spinning blade to a robotic arm, uh, just remember that uh, in case the robot uprising happens against the human overlords, then we've downgraded it by taking away its lasers and giving it knives. The first thing that we need to do here is to calibrate the setup. And this means that the camera and the robot and the computer systems all need to have the same common reference point. For this we use the calibration plate and we take pictures of this. It has clear colors, high contrast, which means that it's really easy for the camera to identify where it's at in space. Then it can set the zero point to this plate. You can move the robotic arm to the same plate and then they agree on the same origin of the Next up is to create a digital replica of the pumpkin. Uh, we do this by scanning it and having the point cloud, and which means that we can map any image on top of this. The problem with this is that uh, the pumpkin is round, and to generate a parameterization of the pumpkin, which means that we map the flat image onto this, and uh, means that it's going to be distorted in one way or another. This is a problem that has not only caused problems in computer graphics, but also have plagued map makers since the discovery of the spherical uh, Earth. Normal rotating projection distorts countries on the northern side of the globe or in, near any of the ports, which means that Norway, including Svalbard, looks like the entire length of South America. While Greenland uh, looks like the size of the entire continent of Africa, when in fact it's the size of Greenland. So now we have the point cloud of the pumpkin scanned, so that we have uh, the entire front side of the pumpkin visible. What we're going to do here is that we're going to sort all of the points that we're interested in in lines along longitudinal lines along the uh, pumpkin and then create spline curves from these. And, uh, no, not like that. Uh, no, not like that either. Uh, after some more debugging, we got uh, uh, this result here. Uh, still not quite there. And uh, after a little more debugging, we're uh, getting close to something that we can actually uh, Now this is going to give us the drawing area of the pumpkin and from the spline curves we loft out a spline surface and which means that this is the, uh, the base of interest that we can work with. Then we can map any image onto this 
spline surface. The spline surface not only gives us the option of sampling x, y, z coordinates, but also the normal vector and anything else that we need to do the path back. Okay, the next step is to create a border which actually mounts this pumpkin so that it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, first, we designed this in CAD software. We went to the 3D printer and printed it out, and voila, we made this uh, traction here. Unfortunately, it doesn't really hold it in place sufficiently well. Uh, if you move it, uh, it's going to, if you push it, it's going to move too much. And if you lose millimeter precision, you're down to centimeter precisions. And we can't carve anything really interesting with uh, just centimeter precision. So we need a better uh, construct. Back to the drawing board, or in our case, CAD uh, software. And we've designed that this printer here, which did a much better job of holding this in place. Ready for our first test. Uh, the pumpkin is mounted, it's held tightly in place. We have a camera set up, we do the scanning, we construct the beast line surfaces, we do the path planning of the image on this. Uh, now it's just to push play and hope for success on the first try. thousand years later. Whoa, 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 whoa.